Hello, this is Smile and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins Part 8. Uh, this one is actually Part 8. I accidentally uploaded the last one as Part 8 when it was actually Part 7 because I'm a fucking retard. Anyway, let's get back into it. I want to get out of this fucking village. Uh, infected bears, find the bitch. Uh, done, done. Right, yeah, kill bears, find a dead woman. Let's do it. Fuck, I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video, uh, still sorting things out with moving into my new house, but hopefully all that will be over soon so I can start getting into a regular upload time sort of thing, so hopefully my target is to get to at least one video a day. Kill all these fucking dogs and shit. Whoa, wow that hit fuck all. Kill the bloody dog. My settings fucked up again. Hmm. Hmm. Don't trust this computer. Fucking dog. All these stents holding his fucking own. Oh shit. Fuck off. Ah! There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Bloody dog. Right. Grab all the shit because it's a well known fact that wolves carry lyrium potions. Yes. Excellent. Alright, so they're all fucked. Uh, bears. Where are these goddamn bears? There's the spiders. There's the dead bitch. Hello. She's dead! You found the body of the boy's mother and have recovered her keepsake. Because bitches love keepsakes. And the bears are over here. I'm gonna throw down a save just in case I get my ass handed to me. Let's go. Dun 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 And that bitch is dead. Give me your stuff. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Right, that quest is done, so is that one. Go and turn it in and we can finally get out of this shithole. Oh, wait, invisible wall. There we go. It's more like it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck. Mm hmm mm hmm here we go. Speak to this knob end. Yes, yes, bullshit, bullshit and more bullshit. There we go, we got to monies. Uh, what did he give us? What did you give us? Ah, he gave us a nice little sword might. Leliana, my dear. Is this better than yours? Yes, yes it is. Right, now we can get out of here, I think. I don't think we've missed anything. Oh wait, hang on. Yes, we have. Greetings to you, good sir. Good sir. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or, or anything? What happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothric. That Karen would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few wells. Can you help us? I met those bandits and drove them off. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, Brad. Even if we don't get everything back, it's, it's good to know others will be safe. Damn straight. All good deeds. Right. Yep, pretty damn sure that's it now. 
quickly go through it. Yes, can't do uh, Samuel, Kevin had done him, yes. We've didn't yep, yep, giving that him. Blight, Isle of Redcliffe, yes. Okay, yep. Right, sweet. Let's get going. Now I do have a piece of DLC for this which gives you uh, quite a few gifts um which can really boost your companion's approval towards you if you give them to them but I'm not going to use them because they're a very very cheap way of just sort of maxing out your th um, affection with them really quickly uh, so it kind of like all the conversations you have with them like throughout the game as it progresses sort of all happen at once so you never so so you basically max out that character's story before you've even started the game really so we're just going to do it the normal way by giving the normal gifts and through other dialogue choices Get up those steps. Alright, let's get going. Thank God for that. To examine an item, right click on it and hold until the radial menu appears. Then select the eye. Examining items can reveal the bonuses for wearing item sets, like matching armor. Ooh, interesting. Excuse me while I just sleep in my full set of armor. Bad dreams, huh? Must have been something I ate. Drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the dark form. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The arch demon, it talks to the horde. And we feel it just as they do. That's why we know that she's really a girl. So that's why I have an erection. Ooh, the Archdemon, is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Oh, yes. Sweet. Uh, right, let's have a quick conversation with some of the characters. What do you need? I'd like to ask you something. Uh, what, so how did you become a Grey Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. I do my best. <laughs> what can I say? Let's see, I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. You don't seem like the religious sort. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchen to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to forgive me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought he was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Why did the Grand Cleric want to keep you? I wondered that myself. Not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Warden. Chantry didn't lose much, and I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow rather than sticking in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. He was a good man. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate. That much, I'm sure. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Sweet. Alright, let's talk to Liliana. Yes. I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. This vision of yours. I knew 
knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. I had a dream. There was an impenetrable darkness. It was so damp, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. Cliff Richard. I stood in a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I, I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Damn! You dreamed of the blight. I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's garden, as I always did. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowers. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was. A single beautiful rose. Somebody it probably brought Miracle Grow. Even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. And this made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? I suppose I couldn't sit by either. You're a grey warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. Sweet. Right, uh, let's have a quick chat to Stan. Why are we stopping? I think we should talk for a moment. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Shut the fuck up. Uh, are you alright? You were in that cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. I've never seen a Quinari before. Tell me about your people. No. Uh, please? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. A little hostile, aren't we? Many humans have said that to me. I do not understand it. If I were indeed hostile, you would be bleeding. Never mind, let's keep moving. As you You want to speak to Morrigan? What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. How did you become a shape changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemish, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. But it's just a legend, right? So I assume. My mother has walked the wilds far longer than I. Who am I to suggest what things she has done and not done in her past? Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talent. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Bollocks. Can you change into other human forms as well? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me. It's true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I had smelled it as a wolf. Listened as a cat. Proud as a sex offender. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. And what do other animals think of you when you're changed? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. 
I've never heard of magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck had it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. That's good. Such traditions need to be preserved. I am surprised you think so. Still, it is a pleasant thing to hear. That's all I wanted to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the sword? I think your abilities sound quite useful. Oh, you are simply full of surprises, little man, aren't you? But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Cool beans. Right, um, yeah, these guys over here, there's the two dwarfs that I rescued before. Ah, good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodong Fett at your service, once again. I saw your cat and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey wolf? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Uh, you're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantment, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Sweet. So yeah, basically I can buy, sell stuff off them. I can also enchant weapons and armor and shit. This dude over here is a DLC character. We speak to him if we want to go and start one of the DLCs, which is called Warden's Peak, I think. Um, but it's quite difficult, so we're not going to speak to him until later on when I've gone up a few levels. So let's just sell some bullshit. What have we got? We don't need that any. Oh, fuck, what am I doing here? Don't need you anymore. I'm not sure about those. Uh, get rid of that. Da, da, da. Get rid of these Lyrian potions. Okie doke. Also, we need to buy a backpack. Yep, thank you very much. So now I can carry more shit. Uh, have we got any gifts to give anyone? Uh, no. Good. Sweet. Right, what time are we on? Ah, we got a while yet. Right, straight to the next bit. You can also speak to your dog, but obviously because he can't actually talk, there's not really that much interaction with him. So, yeah. Awesome. Right, first things first. What have we got? Yeah, I normally go for Redcliffe Village to speak to Arl Eamon first. It's a good place to start, isn't it? Oh, and we've got a random encounter. A wild darkspawn has appeared. But Liliana can see all the different kinds of traps scattered about. So we... Let me just defuse all these traps. Because otherwise, my guys are going to get their ass handed to them. Oh, I can't disarm them. I don't think I can disarm those ones. For fuck's sake. Right, Sten needs health. I oh, don't want one of them, you crazy bastard. Sweet. Oh, that lag. Let's 
Alright, so I definitely can't defuse these traps, I don't think. No. Oh, that's weird. Ah, well. Just rob all the shit. Any more herbs? Yes. Right, let's be off. Oh. Chop, chop. Oh, well, this is an interesting loading screen. There we go. Excellent. More herbs. Travelers coming down the road. I scarcely believe this. Have you come to help us? Perhaps. What do you mean? Is there a problem? So you, you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? What are you talking about? Heard what? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. There's no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. I should take you to Van Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. He's just over there in the Chantry. Please, come. Do, 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 do. More cutscenes. Look at that swagger. <laughs> Fucking party hard over there. Obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Tonk. Greetings, friend. My name is Tegan, Baron of Rainersteel, brother to the Arl. You're a rather unusual group, to say the least. Can I ask who you are and why you've come? I am Smiler, and this is my band of merry men. A Grey Warden? I thought you all died along with my nephew. At least that is what Loghain would have us believe. You don't believe Loghain's lies? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. There is a Grey Warden who goes by the name of Alistair. Does he yet live? He's alive. He travels with me, in fact. He does? Finally, some good news amidst all the bad. Thank you. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shout. Force? Rhoda! Singing surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. I can help you drive them back. There are no dark spawn here, and nothing to gain. Shut your mouth, boy. If there's a chance to rescue the owl, we have to try. Perhaps. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. 
Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I'm on my way. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we should probably get Alistair in our party. Uh, just so, because there's a few uh, unique interactions with some characters here. Village of Sten. Sweet. Right. This woman over here, um, we, if you remember in a previous episode, we found a box underneath a campfire in the Kakari Wilds. Uh, this woman is the one you have to deliver the box to if you choose to deliver it to her. Kukari Wild. My husband and son went there to bring the charms of light to the chasing. But I haven't heard from them since. Are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? Your blowjobs are legendary. I have something here from your husband. Oh? Oh, his love box. If you bring me this. Thank you so much for bringing this to me. It means a lot to me. Make his blessings upon me. Why, thank you. Uh, speak to this girl over here. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you alright? Why are you crying? Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Don't worry, I'll look for him. You will? Thank you so much. Please find him. Alrighty, oh. Alright, so we got a new quest there. Oh, we've got this bookshelf we can read. Sweet. There's someone else we can speak to here as well. Oh, wow. This is an amazing camera angle. My feet are most grateful when we win the battle. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry. And I am Smiler's footwear. Refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. This is everyone who's left. Also, why is there a giant black void? They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. Damn. What can I do to help with your task? You can start by installing a floor. Of course, child. Blessed art thou who exist in the maker's sight. There we go. Wow, I've actually glitched inside of the bitch. Is the and there we go. It's amazing camera angle again. May the chant reach the maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So says Mr. Stewart. Thank fuck for that. Right, is there anything else we can interact with over here? Nope. Right, and we are coming up to time it seems. So we finally made it out of Lothering to Redcliffe. Uh, we'll continue exploring around here uh, in the next episode. But I am Smiler, and thank you very much for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.